Hi, in this video we'll be talking about the nucleus, which is the housing for a cell's DNA. Now remember, only eukaryotes have nuclei, so from here on out, we're only going to be talking about eukaryotes. Here in our picture of the cell, we can see the nucleus marked 2. It's kind of like the center of the cell, and you can almost think of the nucleus as like the control center for the whole cell. DNA, if you recall, is the instruction manual for a cell. So the nucleus is kind of like the housing for all of the cell's instructions, which is why I liken it to a control center. Now, the nucleus actually houses this material we call chromatin. And chromatin is, amongst other things, DNA. But it's DNA that's also got some RNA and proteins in it. Now the reason be for this has to do with the fact that, well, cells need to be constantly using their DNA. So the DNA can't just be splattered all over the place. It has to be organized. And it's organized as chromatin. And if we take a look at chromatin, down here we see the chromatin in the cell's nucleus. And if we pull a strand of that chromatin out, we see that it has some structure and that part of this structure is that the DNA strand is wound around these proteins called histones. And again, we have to organize the structure of our DNA because it needs to be constantly read and processed by our cell's machinery. Now, chromatin isn't all one continuous piece of DNA. Chromatin is actually divided into discrete units called chromosomes. And you can see in the chromatin of this cell right here, different colors, those are symbolizing the different chromosomes. Now, in our nucleus here, the chromosomes look, well, like a mess. And let me take myself out of the image so you can see these pictures a little better. This is what our chromatin and our DNA looks like normally. It looks like a big mishmash. It's actually very organized and regulated but we don't need to worry about that so much for an intro bio course. Now, during mitosis, the chromosomes condense and become plainly visible. So this is, these are mitosis chromosomes. And just want to give you slightly better picture of these chromosomes right here. So these are chromosomes. And different cells have different numbers of chromosomes. Human cells, for example, have 23 pairs of chromosomes, so 46 chromosomes total. So I'm sure you can imagine that's a heck of a lot of DNA to try to store in your nucleus. And actually, I've read before that if you were to stretch all that DNA out that's contained inside of a single human cell, it would be like yards and yards long, really, really long. So this structure has to be highly condensed, but again, must be organized so that the machinery in the nucleus can access and read the genes in your DNA. So even though it looks like a mishmash, remember, there's actually a lot of complex organization there. Now, let's flip the page. 